the head of ASIO, our main spy agency, last night gave a pretty blunt speech saying he's never seen so many spies here, so many foreign attempts to interfere. But you still get the greedy, the stupid, the ideologues and the powerful telling him to back off. I'm concerned there are senior people in this country who appear to believe that espionage and foreign interference is no big deal. It's something that can be tolerated or somehow ignored or safely managed. Individuals in business, academia and the bureaucracy have told me ASIO should ease up on its operational responses to avoid upsetting foreign regimes. Now, of course, they're entitled to their views, but the reasons they offer are flimsy, such as all countries spy on each other. We're going to make that information public anyway. It's no different to lobbying or networking. And my favourite, the foreign government might make things difficult for us. And so on. Now, in my opinion, anyone saying these things should reflect on their commitment to Australia's democracy, sovereignty and values, because espionage and foreign interference is deliberately calculated to undermine Australia's democracy, sovereignty and values. I thought that was the most shocking thing he said last night. And to be honest, I'm not even uh, surprised that some of the people he's talking about are the people in our universities. Because the universities have never gone much for patriotism and Australian values. They snicker so many of them at that kind of stuff. And besides, they're now very greedy for the money from Chinese students. Hundreds of thousands of them. As some were also carelessly... I mean, there was, this is how reckless they were. Carelessly helping China's military with research. And even today, at least 11 of our universities, and the big ones too, they're accepting money from the Chinese dictatorship, can you believe it, to run Confucius centres right on their campuses here to teach Chinese culture. Is that all they're doing? I don't know. But what's so crazy about that is that the Albanese government last week said, well, that's no good. We're going to ban any more Confucius institu institutes because of the security risk. Yet this government at the same time said, well, look, uh, the 11 we already have, they can still stay. How does that work? No wonder the ASIO boss is beside himself. 